Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Z here, and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import or rather transfer all your photos and videos from your iPhone to your PC. And this is a very or rather the easiest way that I found to transfer and import all your photos and all your videos from your iPhone to your PC. So first off, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting the iPhone to your PC via the lightning cable. So go ahead and plug in your iPhone to your computer and then you're going to go through some prompts on your iPhone. So first of all, if it asks you if you want to trust this computer, go ahead and click on trust. And once you're done that, your iPhone should be hooked up to your computer. If not, just give it a few more seconds or maybe a minute or so until your computer picks up on your iPhone. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to head on over to the Photos app. So if you click on the Start button within Windows and you type in Photos, you should get into the Photos app. Run through the menu quickly. Just click on Next, Next, Next if you've never opened it before. And then what you're going to do is if you look on the top right, you're going to see where it says import. You're going to go ahead and click on import and you're going to import from a USB device. So generally it's the second one from the top. So there's only two options currently. So you just scroll to the second one on the menu and then you import from a device and then give it a few seconds until it registers your iPhone and then it should have all of your images on the screen. So if you go ahead again and click on import from a connected device, it looks for photos and videos and you just give it a few seconds depending on how fast your computer is and it'll find all the photos on your iPhone. And this is also depending on if you hooked up your iPhone correctly to your PC and went through all the prompts correctly you might want to do that again if your photos and videos have not yet opened up now it's gonna ask you where you want to import photos to so go ahead and choose a destination so my photos are going to be imported to C users Z and then pictures so that's a very common area where the photos get sent to so you can leave it at that if you want and then where it says select you're gonna go ahead and click select in the drop down menu and then you're going to click on all items so you can go ahead and click on all items and it's gonna put a check mark by every single item here and then you have that option of delete original items after import Port. So I actually went ahead to test this out to see if it works and unfortunately I did not see that it removed the photos for my iPhone. I still did have to do this manually. So again, I don't know if this entirely works. I'm going to show you guys after this video how to remove your photos from your iPhone after you've already imported all of them onto your PC. So now you want to click on import and however many photos you have, that's how many photos are going to be imported into this directory right here. Whichever directory it says by you, in my case it says this directory. So I'm going to go ahead and click on import and then once that's done it should be in the directory. Now if you go ahead into the directory where you imported your photos, so in my case I imported it into the pictures directory which can easily be found in the quick menu of the file explorer. So if I go ahead and click on file explorer, then I go into pictures, it should all be there. And that's pretty much how you guys do it. Now, if you guys wanted to delete your videos and pictures, you would have to do this manually on your iPhone. And the easiest way that I currently found was going into the photos app and then pinching in so that you can zoom out of all your photos. Then click on select at the top right corner. Once you hit select, you can go ahead and just swipe your finger so that you get a check mark on all the rows of photos. And then you click on the garbage bin all the way at the bottom right. And that's pretty much how you guys do that. Anyway, that's it for this quick tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please do give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends who would benefit from this as well. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.